Hey what's up, this is Anthrax here. For this video we take a look at something which is not just a staple piece of techwear but of menswear generally, the bomber jacket. I thought it would be interesting to compare two very different and yet visually similar bomber jackets. So in the red corner we have the Uniqlo bomber jacket at a cost of around £40, something like $60. And in the blue corner we have the Stone Island Shadow Project bomber jacket at a cost of £495 which is probably something like $550, $600. So if you're after a bomber jacket and you're not sure what to go for, or you're interested in what sort of thing you can expect if you drop so much money on one piece of clothing, or if you're just a Stone Island fan, then stick around because this might just be the video for you. We're gonna be taking a look at visual, functional, and material differences so you guys can decide which one of the two is best for you. First up, let's take a quick look at the bomber jacket from those bastions of price performance, Uniqlo. So this is a three layer jacket, there is a lining, an outer and an inner layer which are all 100% nylon. This gives it a little bit of warmth but not a massive amount of breathability so I wouldn't plan on wearing this in incredibly hot weather as you might start getting a little bit sweaty. That said it's not exactly a heavyweight garment so in most temperature levels you should be fine. Honestly the cut of this bomber is a lot better than I expected it to be. It's a little bit on the big size so I've got a size medium here. Normally I would wear a size large in this kind of thing but I've sized down a little bit and I think it fits quite well. It's got a little bit of bulk to it without you looking like the Michelin man and it's got quite a nice square boxy cut with a nice curve around the collar. I think this jacket has a nice color also. It's a very, very deep navy so that it's kind of almost like a faded black. There are other alternatives as well. There is an olive variant of this. I wasn't too much of a fan of that one. It was a very strong kind of greeny color, which isn't really quite my thing. I prefer it a little bit more muted, but nonetheless, that's also something to look out for if you're after an olive colored jacket. As you might expect in terms of detailing and features, this is pretty light. It's got some unsealed pockets on either side. There is also a little zipped arm pocket as well which gives a nice little bit of detailing without going too overboard. That polyester material is very standard looking obviously but it's not kind of fraying or really thin or anything so I think everything is all right in that regard. You can't really expect too much more especially for that price. So that's pretty much it. It's basic but it looks all right and it gets the job done and that's pretty much all you could want for a jacket of that price. Next up we've got the Stone Island Shadow Project Bomber at a total cost of £495. If you don't know much about Shadow Project already, this is a kind of diffusion line of Stone Island which borrows a lot of the same technical innovations that you might find in Stone Island stuff but with design input from Errolson Hugh of acronym fame. On paper this might actually seem very similar to the Uniqlo jacket in that the main body is 100% nylon and this is a single layer as opposed to the outer inner and lining that you find in the Uniqlo bomber. However, you can tell immediately by looking at it and touching it that this is a very differently constructed garment. They've called this single layer fabric Lucid, which is designed for ultra breathability and portability without sacrificing water and stain resistance. The texture of this jacket as well is incredibly cool. It has this kind of like crinkled effect, almost like kind of tissue paper, but a more plasticky and hard wearing version of it. That effect is helped as well by Stone Island's garment dyeing, so it gives everything a slightly unique appearance. So that has definitely played with that crinkling of the fabric. So there's kind of quite a complex color and texture work going on with the main body of the bomber jacket. That material is thin and it is delicate. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, taking this to a gig or something because I would personally be a little bit concerned about it kind of rubbing up against something or getting scratched or damaged. So while it might look like exactly the same color from a distance as the Uniqlo one, up close it becomes very clear that this is a very special and very individual piece of clothing. The cut of this is actually very similar to the Uniqlo one as well. So as all good bomber jackets should be, it is quite a short and quite a boxy cut. This one, like a lot of Stone Island things though, does come up quite small. I bought this one in a large and it does have quite a close small fit, but I think you want that kind of thing from a bomber jacket. So with this, I would say take your regular size, maybe a little bit above if you're kind of between sizes, whereas normally with Stone Island, you would go up a full size easily. 
The collar of this jacket seems to come up very slightly higher than the Uniqlo one, and the shoulders are a little bit more rounded off, so it definitely has that kind of closer, more utility sportswear look about it. And since it doesn't have the lining that the Uniqlo one does, it's a lot more form-fitting as well. So what else have we got on this jacket over the Uniqlo one? Well, first of all, they've used YKK zips as opposed to the unbranded zips on the Uniqlo version. They're incredibly smooth in terms of their action, so you're not going to struggle to do these up or undo them. Personally, I find cheap zips super annoying, so as you might expect from a garment of this price, they have actually invested in some decent quality things for this. The side pockets are zipped, unlike the Uniqlo ones, so if you're interested in keeping your stuff nice and safe, then that's not going to be a problem. You'll also notice that there are additional zips on each side of this jacket for a little bit of additional ventilation. So you can open these up and then you'll find that this jacket is a little bit more airy, a little bit more spacious than it would be normally. So any sudden temperature changes, as well as this jacket being very light anyway, you'll find that you can open this up even more for even more breathability. And of course on the arm, along with a similar kind of pocket to the one that Uniqlo have used, is that obligatory Stone Island branding. Personally, I really like the Stone Island Shadow Project logo. The thing that gets me about the regular Stone Island one is that kind of green and yellow colouring. I'm not a massive fan of it, I think it's a little bit brash, but having an all black logo like that I think is much more understated and it looks super cool. And if you don't want to show off, you can stick it to the inside of the jacket and then nobody has to know how much you spent on it. Like the Uniqlo version, this jacket comes in quite a few different colours. Alongside this navy version, there's black, olive, grey and purple. End Clothing generously loaned me this one for a review. Uh, so I picked out the navy one because it is very similar to that Uniqlo one that I have already so I can make a direct comparison. But if I was going to pick one of these out for myself, I think the black one is really really nice and also the grey one as well is quite unusual in its colouring but also quite light, quite summery as well. So there you have it, that is both the Uniqlo bomber jacket and the Stone Island Shadow Project bomber jacket. Personally I really really like both of them, that is why I originally bought the Uniqlo one and why I asked End Clothing to lend me that Shadow Project one as well. The Uniqlo one is very functional, it does the job, it looks good relative to how much it actually costs. So I think if you're on a budget, that one is definitely a winner. The Stone Island one, of course, is a much larger investment, something like 12 times the cost. But what you get in return is something that is very special in terms of its construction. It's certainly very unique. It's like nothing that I've ever seen before. So if you do have that kind of enthusiasm for the actual creation of, of this kind of thing, and for just wearing something that is so different, then the Shadow Project Bomber is probably the one for you. If someone came up to me right now and plonked 500 quid in my hand, I would certainly be massively tempted with that Stone Island Shadow Project one, that's for sure. So that's been it on these two different bomber jackets. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at them, I certainly did. And now is your opportunity to vote. So let me know which one you prefer. There'll be like a little eye symbol or something up here. So you can hit that and then you can vote on which one you think is the best. And of course, if you've got any particular thoughts on these jackets, then do leave them below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. I do appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next one. What is up, Techware Alert Nation? It's your host, Killer Antoine. Let's get right into the Techware videos. And of course, there's going to be loads more videos coming out in the future. Loads. So if you want to see all of those videos, then you can hit the subscribe button over there.